Welcome to Sports with Marlon. This program is brought to you in association with Next TV. Horses, equestrian, horse racing, anything to do with this beautiful beast is associated with the elite and royalty. And today we have an amazing personality with us in the studio that I will shortly introduce you to. A gentleman who has been involved with doing many things that has contributed to the goodness of sport. He was the chairman of the Sukhadadasa Stadium, the legal advisor to, many, to several ministers. He's contributed towards the prevention of offenses relating to sport, convention against doping in sport, and contributed towards scripting even the sports policy. Today we have with us the president of the Royal Turf Club, Norelia, Mr. Panduka Kirtinanda. Welcome Hello. to the studio. Thank you, Marlon, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, it, it is a great honor to have a meeting with you with regard to sports. Thank you. Well, the reason that uh, we thought of having this chat with Panduka is because just after Christmas, there was a fabulous event that took place in Nuralia to celebrate the joys of Christmas. And um, to explain more about this particular event that brought so much of happiness to over 350 kids, I'll let Panduka explain exactly how this event unfolded. Well, Marlon, uh, this year was a very tough year for sports because of this pandemic situation of the country. We decided as a club uh, to have few raises, but uh, due to the coronavirus pandemic situation, it was cancelled. We only had only few races for this year. So in December, basically, we have the races for horse racing in Norelia. So this time, we decided to have a charitable event instead of having a race to provide school books for the needy pe persons, especially for people who are around in and around in Norelia race course and Norelia area. It was a very successful event. We contributed uh, school books for 350 kids and also we gave a meal and uh, we had the socializing with them and we supported their families with other needy things. It was a very successful thing and the Royal Turf Club, as the president, I was very humbly proud to have this event organized and it was supported by all the horse owners, especially the owners who are supporting this horse racing sport in the country. It was a great successful event and we are hoping to do this kind of event in future. Let me explain a little bit about horse racing. This uh, picturesque Nuralia race course is situated 1868 meters above the sea level in Sri Lanka and circumference of the track is 1,800 meters. And uh, uh, this, uh, this was uh, developed during the governor of Ceylon, Sir Henry Edward Macallum. That was in 1852. And they had the first Governor's Cup in 1875. And uh, we are proud to announce uh, to 2022 year 2022, we are proud to announce that we'll be having an Independence Cup, the Governor's Cup in the April season, the Queen's Cup, the RTC Magic Million Cup, and also the Mayor's Cup. We are planning to have the races for 2022 every month uh, covering, and we are hoping to have the proper international standard level horse racing in the country. And our future plan is to get a foreign uh, investor to develop this club to international level. And this is, this is a sport, Marlon, where we could have sports tourism. In, when you take over 70 odd sports in the country, there are only few sports which will be contribute for, for the tour, sports tourism. A cricket, football, rugger, horse racing, so on and so forth. So uh, 
this is if we develop the horse racing sport in the country that will support the tourism in the country it's a two, uh, that's a that could be the tourism culture for the future we could easily earn foreign currencies foreign investment foreign income so it is a duty for the club as well as the sports uh, governing body of the country to uh, support and uh, uh, help the uh, people of the area especially the uh, poor people and also uh, who are who are supporting the horse racing in the north area this is very beneficial for everyone not only for the horse owners not only for the rich people poor or as well as the rich people will be benefited and also tourism will be developed in the in and around north area so it's a great sport everyone loves this and this is called the queens of sports in the world wow that was a fabulous uh, introduction and insight and uh, loads of knowledge about the sport that has been uh, taking place in sri lanka for many years i believe somewhere in uh, the 1960s panduka um, that horse racing came to a halt would you like to enlighten us about why that took place and uh, how was it revived well marlan according to the history uh, the horse racing started somewhere in 1850s but the governors cup was started in 1875 in when it came to 1950s sri lanka then ceylon was one of the best horse racing venues in the asian region there was over 500 to 600 horses we had the horse carriages carrying horses from colombo to nanoya in a train and they they have the racing there and the horses come back to colombo the colombo was having a venue norelia as well as in gol so we had three venues uh, 365 days most of the weekends we had the races so we, the foreign income foreign revenue was brought to the then ceylon but unfortunately due to political reasons in 1960s they banned horse racing and this was reintroduced in 1981 thereafter uh, ceylon turf club was functioning up to about 20 30 years there thereafter ceylon turf club became a natural death then uh, most of the horse owners and the horse uh, uh, loving community decided to start a new club in 2013 we implemented the royal turf club and thereafter we have been having races annually every year we have the races i'm proud to say and humbly happy to say that as the president of royal turf club we are hoping to develop the sport to the highest level in the country panduka in uh, at the 2020 olympics it was an absolute delight and a joy to see uh, sri lanka being represented in the uh, sport equestrian well marlan that was done by the equestrian federation of sri lanka that is a affiliated club in the ministry horse racing is registered in the country law but we are a independent club purely racing horse racing now equestrian has a different venues and different uh, areas to play, play with the horses so we are proud to say that uh, a sri lankan born member has participated in olympics this time we hope hopefully we could see that in future many more to come and as sri lanka we must always help the sport and develop the sport to the highest level so whatever whoever comes forward we are happy to support them we are happy to uh, give their helping hand and to develop the sport in the country we what we need is a we need a proper sports culture that is where the income comes uh, right, right around the world if you take dubai they have the sports city most of the sports bodies uh, world bodies are uh, if affiliated in dubai if you say sri lanka uh, um, uh, icc is in dubai so they don't have anything uh, uh, picturesque locations they all artificial turfs 
and areas but still they develop to the highest level international level so sri lanka is a free country we are we are now we are hopefully planning to have more international venues sports venues i hope and pray the ministry of sports will uh, con consider this situation and develop the sport and we we should be able to uh, develop the economy from by developing the sports on, in the country oh that's very interesting panduka uh, on a closing note i'd like to ask you uh, you've been involved with uh, the royal turf club since it changed from ceylon turf club and um, your contribution has been immense over all these years and now as the president do you see yourself continuing in this role for three years five years long no, term and also uh, what plans do you have Malen, for the royal turf club? I, i have to, this is my second time i took as the president for, uh, of royal turf club i will be only serving for two years i want to develop to the highest level and pass this baton to another uh person who will come take over from me i all what i want is to develop the sport not to be in positions being in position is a great thing for sri lankans i'm also sri lankan but i want to do a change we are we, we must always help the country help the sport develop the sport through the, through the development we should be able to achieve our personal agendas but the most important thing is to develop the sport and develop the sport, uh, provide the, uh, the sports to the uh, next level so my intention is to uh, hold the, hold this uh, post for only for two years and thereafter there will be another successor who will take from me thank you okay so on that note uh, we come to the end of uh, sports with marland with our guest in the studio today mr panduka kirtinanda thank you panduka thank you marland for giving this opportunity i bless you i bless you